Greetings, blurbs. Got a thing here. Check this thing out. This is the Margie? Margie? Mm, I don't know. Presenter to go. SD card <laughs> VGA output thingy. Yeah, this is uh, something that y'all let me know about when I did my video on the HP iPack uh, pocket camera. Yeah, did a video on that. It's a digital camera that goes into an SDIO card slot interface and pocket PCs and PDAs. Yeah, I've got this here that I'm going to try this with because I had never heard of this until some of y'all left some comments. So check it out. It's just a VGA output dongle thing that plugs into the SD card slot. They're really SDIO slot there and gives VGA output of some kind. But I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't actually see this iPack listed as something that it would work with specifically, but that kind of makes sense. This predates this particular iPack model. Seems like it should, though. The requirements aren't, I don't know, too particular. It just says you need a pocket PC handheld from the supported list. And well, like I said, it's not on there. So anyway, let's just go ahead and uh, blah, blah, blah. go ahead and open it up. And this is kind of cool. So you got this <laughs> nice little carrying pouch here. We'll open that up. Uh, it does smell leathery. So it's actually kind of nice. It's got that new car kind of uh, degradation smell. <laughs> it's like certain materials, they degrade and they smell like a new car. Anyway, uh, I got a CD-ROM here with the software. So this is just the Windows side of things. I've already installed this on my Windows XP machine and got it transferred over like the uh, the file that it needs onto the Pocket PC. So it's on there, ready to go. And then we got this right here, which is again, extremely basic. I think this, this is pretty much it that you get in English. It's just like, uh, yeah, plug it in, use it. The complete user's manual is available on the CD. And yeah, it also has a, a PowerPoint tutorial on the CD as well <laughs> that you can look at to uh, see how to use it. Yeah, everything else is just in other languages. So this is all you get. And it is pretty fitting that it comes with a uh, tutorial in PowerPoint presentation form because this really is built for on-the-go PowerPoint presentations. So if you had your PDA and your PowerPoint on there ready to go back in the day, then there you go. And it's got this Margie, Margie, Margie. Anyway, you got this mirror application. So uh, let's get this unpacked and run that. And yeah, like I said, it's sort of built for PowerPoint presentations. So slideshow type of stuff. And that kind of has me thinking that maybe it won't be exactly VGA output that's very live. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't really tested it yet. I've just, I have, I've turned it on. That's about it. Uh, so you've got the, the little dongle in here and you got VGA out on that side and then the little SDIO interface part right there. And then of course that just goes in like that. And it's got the same issue where it's just going to slide right out with no problem because SD card slots were meant to have things inserted in there and they don't really hold on to things that are in there. So anyway, that's a thing. So you got to be careful with it. And it's got a uh, VGA cable here, just a little short one. I don't know, foot long or something. There's a, <laughs> a remote. I guess that's what the little things are for on the sides, like IR sensors. So check that out. Again, made for PowerPoint presentations, you know, moving slides forward and backward, and I'm assuming they interface with certain programs or something. And it does require external power. So you have this little thing right here that is, yeah, those. Five volt, 600 milliamp, 0.1 amp input. Mm. So that plugs into the back of the dongle. Let me get this back out of here. <laughs> so it's really not the most elegant solution, but it does the trick. If you need VGA output on a PDA, there you go. I mean, this is pretty cool. Like the whole idea of having VGA output of any kind 
on a PDA is just fantastic, you know, much less through the SD card slider, SDIO. This is, this is so cool. Uh, anyway, let's test it out. Okay, I got a CRT here, a VGA cable, just gonna plug that in to our little box. And I got power going to that. And then the PDA, I'll just plug it in. <laughs> and it immediately switches over to the output of the box, which is just a blank screen by default. So if we open up the Margie application, Margie Mirror, uh, we can see that we've got some options there in terms of uh, enabling it, zooming it, updating and rotating. So let's just enable. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man. That is a fantastically sharp image. Uh, see, that is zoomed. There's that. So that's as, that's as zoomed in as they can go. But still, uh, that is awesome. Let's see what we're dealing with here. 60 hertz. Oh, yeah, that's right. This one doesn't show the, ref the, uh, the resolution. Well, it is 60 hertz. So let's change the update speed. I'm not sure... Yeah, it's still going to do this. You know, obviously it's not in real time. I think what it's doing is taking a screenshot and then, like, buffering it in here or maybe transferring it to the SD card storage, maybe? I, I don't really know if there's storage, but obviously it takes a little bit to render out on the screen. I do like that you can rotate as well. That's pretty handy. Or at least it could be. But yeah, it's effectively just showing a static image, and that's it. So it's not really a complete, uh, like, screen sharing type of thing. Wow, I guess this is a game that I was playing previously. Interesting. It is actually updating faster when it's on solitaire, isn't it? You just, it's, yeah, okay. That's quicker, but. <laughs> Obviously still not real time. This is fascinating, man. I, I don't really know what it's doing exactly. It does seem to be that the more stuff is on screen to refresh, the slower it is. So maybe it's just trying to figure out what it sees as being different and then only updating that part of the screen. I don't know, but this is neat. <laughs> Even if it's not a direct video feed. I don't know, man. I don't know how it's exactly doing it. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much what this is. It's kind of awesome. At the same time, though, it's just yeah, very, very slow. But if nothing else, it provides an easy way to very quickly get screenshots instead of having to, you know, use something within the uh, Pocket PC itself to take a screenshot. Like, I can have this directly connected to a capture device over there. In fact, let me go ahead and do that right now. I'll just switch over to some capture device footage. Yeah, I mean, you can capture directly from a PDA like this. It's just very slow, so it's not going to be good for capturing any kind of gameplay, but uh, you can see how this would be fantastic for presentations on the go, PowerPoint things, and any kind of, you know, even photos, slideshows. That's just, I can see this being highly appealing to business users and, yeah, even folks that just want to bore people with their vacation pictures. <laughs> Why not? Especially if you had the little camera add-on, too. Oh, before we go, uh, one last thing here. You got the um, remote. I wanted to try this out and see maybe how this worked. I believe it's just for switching through slides and PowerPoint and whatnot, but uh, unfortunately, check that out. You got a corroded little battery in there. Yeah, don't see those corrode terribly often, but it did. This is a CR2025. I don't have one of these, uh, another one. So, not able to test this right now. Uh, I don't have PowerPoint on there anyway, so I don't even know if it would do anything. <laughs> well, uh, that's it. LGR Blurbs.
Thanks for watching.